to your left, we stop for the smoke. Push, you not kill many you then. Push, you not good for the health now. Everybody say no more crush. Jagaban say no more crush. Government say no more crush. Jagaban say no more crush. Earlier this morning, um, I got a video where somebody sent from me where happened now. Uh, Pandemba Road, where they the search a police officer and then find Kush inside in Boxer. And I got a lot of alerts from different people for this video. And I think this is not the reason why we really, really need to take uh, the security issue in that country very serious with 100% of seriousness, right? Let's put all political uh, sentiment aside. Let's forget about APC. And that's a PP. Let's face the fact as a reality. Uh, what you make you think say anything we na immorality when it come to that country, it hurts for good. What you make you think say anything we na development of that country, it hurts for stick. What you make anything we na the fact na this na that country, it hurts for stand. These are the reasons. For example, Sierra Leone is a country we are in. Whenever good they happen, there are people within the system. Where they support the bad for letting them vandalize that particular goodness, people were supposed to be in charge for make sure they protect that particular issue, whether the police, whether the military, whether the law, whether the, the, the lawyers, or whether the churches, so, so on and so forth. Ministries are everywhere. Me and you know how Kush almost have become a, 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 a pandemic in that country. How many souls they would all lost through this harmful substance? And I believe, see. No matter how evil you are, you know, you've seen enough for confirm now, say, we don't need more people for good six feet before you stop. And one of the people who are in charge of this thing for make sure, say, we stop them kind of a things there in our country, not the police. And at this remind me of one of my favorite saying, one I can say, protecting lives and property. Listen, there is something where I don't begin to observe about civil police. Now, I talk to the IG directly. This is not something we for joke with. If you don't watch this video for the first time, please share up. They need for Siam. There is one thing what we call credibility. You know, a white man once says, when you lost money, everything is not lost. When you lost power, everything is not lost. When you lost fame, everything is not lost. But when you lost character, everything is gone. And character is something that is connected with your credibility. How on earth, on this social media, now, Sierra Leone police, they say that they smoke kush and treat and they behave. People will get bought in. Now, Sierra Leone police, you they see, even on vandalizing issue, in most cases, now they name that they call. Now, Sierra Leone police, they say, even on political issues, they become biased in addressing the law to people. And now, when it comes to the fighting of this particular drug, Sierra Leone police again. This is the reason why I tell you, I say, sometimes I can really feel I'm for President Deo. I really, really can feel him for him, yeah? Let's call it spade a spade. It's good because now he's in China, he's not the first gentleman of the country. Anything will happen, now he's not the lead, now he would put some brand, now he would put before. But trust me, it's so frustrating, it's so sad, it's so disheartening when you don't live in a community or within a society or a perimeter where you're not the leader, but you are so surrounded by poisonous and evil people who always they can do, now for do things that will dent your legacy or assassinate your character. This is very dangerous. And the unfortunate part of it is, you when are the leader going to work with it, put your power, you think say you get the right people to work with, the bad news is, no, you don't. How on earth not prison you a police officer? And I think this is not the reason why we need to amend with constitution, because some of them professional misconduct there not only deserve for you being dismissed or being in prison, it deserves something something else let me add a more practical punishment so some of them kind of an evil things that wouldn't guide that they don't have that country and at this if you the talk if you they call police now a lot of people will say not to all police but there are few or more police when they give bad name to the good one day how we go differentiate between the good and the bad police now how how tell me if you as a police officer you've not seen enough or much more for belief see this is a national fight and on all we don't they say that we don't they accuse jude jalo the president 
And even at my ability, this is now waiting I'll be the drive for talking about country. So we're not reach at a point where we will not believe anybody. And I'll be done to tell one. The way we will not to that country, so to the people who achieve all institutions are being corrupted practically with evidence. This is very dangerous. This they makes you alone a red zone for anybody where you know say you're not a good person, you're not a reputable person. This is no good for investors because every single day when they kind of things that they happen, they are going on the internet and sometimes on the blame we post good news. How many good news they exist that the bad news in that country? How many of these good news? How many? And there is something what I really notice about President Bill in government. Something is wrong somewhere. A lot of people saying a cost. A lot of people, but I think President Bill has just been unfortunate with the wrong people. Yes, I get to say this for the first time. He's been unfortunate being surrounded with the wrong people. Corruption is in the police force, highest in the parliament, in ministries, and with evidence. And the police force, when it comes to uh, embezzling of drugs, first time when they catch drugs and are born, they born. When last he still says salon police born jamba, they born drug, they will go get another they stay in the put on a store. What are you storing it up for? For evidence, evidence as what well. destroy them. Evidence as what. Well. So to the Sierra police, Una really really need for work on our credibility. You see, it is very unfortunate for Sierra Leone. This past years, what we would experience, is no good at all. Sierra Leone have been rated, have been rated as the one of the sad city or country in the world. It has been rated as one of the darkest or darkest country in the world. It has been rated as a country with one of the lowest GDP. It has been rated as one of the as one of the poor countries. What is going on? So you see the reason why the fight for this Kush Naga for be easy? Because there are people within the and then they smoke up. Even the one that has Laila Madas Laila Madas, these are people, they are smoking it. If they just get surprised, hey Laila Madas Lai, hey Salon, wait till they shout for A Salon. If things like this more than this not happen in that country. Attempted coup police that they were involved there. Waiting more you need for seeing that country for belief say Sierra Leone now we don't pull up, not to government no more. So how we go fight this kind of a fight? So to the IG and to the president, President Bia still tell you this thing. Your government, if you not be careful, if you don't act, you know there is a saying which says, uh, strike the iron when it is hot. That saying have been modernized and said, do not wait to strike when the iron is hot, but make it hotter by striking. That's what you need to do in that country now. There's another saying which says, you kiss the rat until you, until you meet the prince or you find the prince. Now that's you need for do in that country. All way till on accuse opposition, but this is not the side and this way they pain me. Because for the past one year, two years, now opposition we don't be blast for. Now then we don't talk to now then they distract you government. Now every single bad name we wanna forgive opposition now when I don't give them, but still the bad they happen. So who is now responsible for this one's happening now? That just tells you there are a lot of viruses within the system. Corruption in the parliament, now the legal aspect, now the police institution. People that are supposed to be protecting life and property are vandalizing and embezzling properties and suppressing lives. What a shame. Sierra Leone police have been rated as one of the corrupt police in West Africa. There is a video then there's a way they circulate about a police where they collect live bribe. Now check point. A lot of them have seen that video. People they compliment on social media saying the police be right and not big demand on duty collecting bribes. Sometimes, when they talk about this thing, let me not just talk about the government. Sierra Leone have been raised as a country now who say bad and immorality, corruption is everywhere. And the most unfortunate part of it is people when we say that they can't fight corruption, it's like now they want to invent corruption. Believe it or like it, that's the truth. That is the truth. That is the truth. So, Go, let's go back to base and 
This is one of the reasons why also my vex. I see a lot of my they abuse me, have turned me TV to Jagaban TV. Jagaban go to the UK, he meet to some Australian community in the UK, and then all the tap play. He also go meet a prominent woman organization in the UK. We stand for women, them TV TV, we promote the interest of women. And guess what happens? This man decides to donate the sum of $10,000. So then people yeah. Now let me tell you why Jagaban is a difference among all other people. Now I just give reasons because wait till we don't have media, it's more about proving your point or don't say anything. Jagaban not the only rich person in that country. Jagaban is the only person where they oversee or diaspora was successful. Jagaban not the only person where they don't go into politics. But why is Jagaban the different? You see, let we not fall our partisan regionalism and tribalism for destroy waiting waiting the benefit we. A lot of people they can do them out of big malice, they bash at your destiny helper. Tomorrow, when all doors are closed, now they tell you they don't say finally you make the hill after when the sun don't shine. Jagaban they travel now different countries. They don't do them now. Turkey, they don't do them now. England, they don't do them now. America, they don't do them now. Sierra Leone. For make sure say it connects with each and every Sierra Leone organization, community. For make sure say it try for create this kind of level of platform of helping people. This is the kind of power we believe in helping people. If you watch the picture within the screen, they tell you say you only live a life of a fulfillment or a fulfillment life when you help people. And this is not one of the challenges we see on the face today because we don't take poor people, give them power, record in a position. Because at the end of the day, even when they commit crime, when they get a nice names, oh, he's not a thief, he's a money launderer, he's fraud, he's a best of my brother. These people are thieves. When they steal with money on industrial scale, as Professor Patrick Lumumba talk about. This is what you get when you vote poor and hungry people into power. You expect church, you you, you expect a grand a, a rata, you go get a granat family a guide them. No. But if you take a lion and put at a granite farm, the granite is safe because he has nothing to do with the ground. We're all there against politicians in that country because of how they don't deceive people. I don't tell you say the same right way you get for criticize and oppose bad is the same right way you get for support good thing. And a lot of people they feel offended when they talk the good things about Jagaban, think say it is a crime. Because I put them up to be said. For say any good thing with this man they do, I they talk about them. My brother, go create your media if you feel offended or intimidated when they talk about people when they do good things for that country. Go create your own media. Why you think say I get the right to oppose or talk about good things when the president don't do one or talk about good things what other people don't do? Save your political emotions, that's fine. You're not to be responsible for your stress. But when it comes to reality, let's look into it as mutual and neutral civil unions. This man is actually doing well. The only problem is that you cannot help it all alone. I wish that this man they do all that diaspora as a lot. But they will never learn from it. Civil unions, they say, some civil unions now don't swear. Because of politics, if not to impart it in a power, and when they ever invest in that country. So man for more start for build and it is on both sides. Some because the government they hunt them based on the political history, some just decide not to. I mean Jagaban is the only person, even in home time, they clash with the region chief right now, but it's still stubborn for the helping people. What points do you need more for let somebody prove to you for letting you know say he is a good person? And if we not support him, if we not talk about him, how we want for motivate him? Jagaban might not help you. But it might help somebody when you need help from you. You don't know. So let me continue for the appreciate people like this where they do the right thing. Because let me tell you one thing. It, 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 it comes with a lot of joy. When somebody, they do good work. And since a people, they praise him, he feels like, trust me, the power of thank you, you don't underestimate him, but it goes long away, more than even how many miles with a mere footsteps can cover. So Moni Jagaban, I want to tell you, thank you. And keep doing what you do for Sierra Leone. It's hard. You cannot do it alone. You are trying. You really want. But the mentality of the people of that country, majority have been broken. Some people just look well academically or by qualifications. They are professors. But when it comes by practical action, trust me, they are not. 
So all the kind of things that will happen in our country, this is really, really frustrating. This is not a good news to talk about. Police were supposed to protect lives and property. And there are more where they do waiting pass this way they don't see. There are more where they get to step outside. When I think they support them, how we want to fight for the country. And we were they talk the truth for that country. Now we want to see us straight. This is what we say we go on punishing black. Like the Bible say, my people are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge. This is what is happening. And if we all not both fight and fight this thing, this issue of my president bill, yes, again, you'll fall. Again, you but I think the man is just unfortunate by putting a lot of selfish, hungry things and ill-minded people around them. This is the reason why nothing can be fixed. Because governance is a very large I can call them say a very large institute of, of people of different caliber, of different character, and different intention. So, but they would pretend to you say one can't serve you, one destroy you. And the ministry are too much. President Bill will say we will check everything that happen our ministry, every angle in that country. This is why the power is being subordinated to certain people. Why would they misuse them? Because at the end of the day, based on party. They send our president, and then they don't begin to talk all waiting and condemn about the APC. Then they people are in double folds. They condemn the high increment of prices. We get them in double fold. They corrupt. They, 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 they condemn corruption. We get them in double fold. They con you know everything when they condemn, we they get them in double fold. Now this may I don't say any other leader where they can that country. When I work on that constitution and review, the list in now fifteen years will fix that country. From 1961 up to date, we see the work on permanent light, good hydro, good medical system, good education, infrastructure, good road. Like, where the hell are we going? 15, 20, 30, 25 years ago, Gambia, Ghana, Nigeria, be the whole Sierra Leone of Waiting, what they call the hopeless, hopeless mountain, one of the ant where that was the antennas of West Africa, not now. Nyanda, we left Sidon. Nigeria only today have got more than 250 universities. Have you ever wondered why a lot of successful civilians don't left that country, don't swear they don't come back? You think that you go happy when you don't left your country? Every day in a bad news you see on TV, on Facebook, on TikTok, on waiting will actually give you joy. Waiting will actually give you joy. A world country, a capital city, complete more than one week, no light, no day. You don't think that they increase the rate of poverty? That they increase the rate of crime? That they increase the rate of corruption. Let me think about all the kind of things there. And the way we country the goal. If we don't take a still stand for let everybody fight the corruption in in your way, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a civil servant, or you don't have any ministerial position. If you don't put them up to the tax, say, yeah, now we get yeah, now we the make yeah, now we the first for yeah, that country is destroyed. It is destroyed. Forget all this blah blah. A single person cannot fix that country. Because if government buy new transformer can't put an area bad boy and then grab a finger and go pull them. How how do you want things? And they don't go buy the other one, they can't put them the same day. So that is just it. Do you have the police? A lot have been said about you. Like me personally, I don't even get confidence in Sierra Leone police again. Don't know to all of them they into that, but how many evidence more do we need when most of them are the disgrace one? Do you know the signal that is sending? It is sending a hypocritic signal for someone that they make the facts for the team. This was the reason why one blogger said, on the left, Kush, people they say Kush, they go arrest Jambai sellers. Jambai is not a pandemic here. Forget about that thing right now and focus on Kush sellers. People they say, eh, don't attack the, the, the buyer, attack the seller. The buyer, the seller, anybody want to catch on arrest them. Have you heard of the saying that the Bible say, even the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and wicked people take it by force. There are certain issues where they happen a nation, organization, institution, or community. They need immediate drastic action for be taken before some money here go clear. Because even if they tell you, they tell us they don't believe. See, I know it's so frustrating right now to the extent anybody will ask right now, not get permanent day 20 to go to that country. So I don't know how one that will fix that country. Investors, so they know they can't. The one the way they did, then they give you zero 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 point, you know, zero 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 point one 
That means out of every hundred million dollars, they go ten thousand dollars. How we plan? How how we, we intend for little minerals and benefits within that country? So until we all put out, so we said, say yeah, now we care, and now we go make care. Then we go to say we don't really forget a better Sierra Leone. Thanks for watching. Help us share this program. Subscribe to this channel. Like, comment, share, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.